own state currency, starting their own state militia. But Dr. Franklin, I, I understand though, they plan to name the state in your honor, the state of Franklin. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that is rather nice of them. Oh, but really, such impertinence indeed. <laughs> Let us continue with South Carolina. Ah, yes, South Carolina. They hate New Englanders who happen to seem intolerant and self-righteous. Well, they may yeah. have a point there. And it is yeah. true. Of course, since we're talking about territories, observe this. New Orleans, I, they still belong to Spain, and her ships prowl the Mississippi. Oh, your life and your property aren't worth a fig, with pirates and brigands carousing the coastlines. I thought that this was supposed to be a free and united the United States of America, safe society, as it were, free from the threat of gangs. Mm. <laughs> Vermont, Kentucky, and Franklin all want to join the Union. However, I understand, Dr. Franklin, that they may want to change the name of the state of Franklin. To what? I understand a, a new name. I'm trying to remember it and to remember how to pronounce it correctly. I believe it was the state of Tennessee. Tennessee? Doth not have the same ring to it, does it? <laughs> but that, that's a little problem. Ah, England, meanwhile, have red coat soldiers camping out on American soil. Did we, or did we not, sir, fight the American Revolutionary War, eh? Sure. Aye, and did we, or did we not, sir, win? Did we not? Absolutely. Aye, then what are red coat soldiers doing on American soil, I tell you? Things are definitely a mess. But this convention has done some goodly work. Yes, we have agreed on the following, and the following has already been decided. First of all, that General Washington will preside over our convention. Yes, the general is most beloved of all Americans. Yes, he is. Virtuous, successful, hardworking, all the type of qualities that we want in our own nation. And we hold the chair in anticipation for the general's safe return and arrival. Aye, but before this Constitution becomes a reality, mind you this, nine votes are needed for ratification. That means legal approval of the people from your states for what we are about to say and do here. Yes, and the Constitution shall be the supreme law. That means it shall be the law of the land. Now, of course, Congress may propose amendments or changes, as it were. <laughs> and it only makes sense that as our country grows, our Constitution will reflect those changes within our society. But those changes, those amendments, only can occur by a majority vote of approval. Yes. And religious freedom, one's religion is not the business of the national government. It is true. Many of you, as well as your ancestors, have come to these shores to practice your own faith in your own way. Will not have government looking into a man's soul or his conscience. His belief or non-belief, for that matter, is his own private affair and no one else's. Uh, and new states shall have the same rights as old states. That means as new states are admitted, they shall have the same rights and privileges as the older states. But a new state cannot be created from an old state unless they seek and obtain congressional approval first. And of course, we want a republic. A republic, my friends, is a form of government where the leader is not a duke or a prince or a king, but a president. Republic comes from the Latin meaning of the people. Ergo, this will be a government of the people. But before that happens, much work must be done. Behold the cards you hold in your hands. And let me shed a little light on the subject, for after all, this is the age of enlightenment. <laughs> yes, behold the cards you have in your hands. Note it, they have the state which you represent, and they are color-coded by topic, with the number in the order that you will be called. And they are numbered at the bottom of the cards. Now, when you are called upon, pray, stand, and in a clear, concise voice, read from the cards. Nay, I will not tolerate any bibbity bob. It's going a mile a minute. Blah, 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 blah. Neither will I contend with people talking as slow as molasses either. 
Nay, will I persevere with such folk that are so timid and so meek that he be. Nay, speak out in a clear, concise voice, for what you say and do here is of the utmost importance. And those of you deputies that are sitting in the first row, we ask when you do address the convention, please rise and face your fellow deputies so they can hear you when you address us. And see you as well. Do you agree? Yes. yes. Very well, we shall proceed with the Constitutional Convention. discuss is the one which this entire convention is hinged upon and which probably will be a deciding factor. How are the states to be represented in our new Congress? Are the states to be represented equally regardless of size or population? Or are the states to be re represented by population? This is a question that we will begin to discuss in just a moment. Aye, this issue of the big state and the state issue is one thing we must address, or we cannot even come to a conclusion of divisive, uh, a deciding vote on any of the other topics before us. So we now look at the issue of the big state, little state issue. Yes, and I would like to call upon the state of Delaware, big state, little state, number one. And please, please stand. Give that Thank deputy you. a yes. <laughs> Each state, big and small, has one vote in Congress. In a new Congress, the large states would have greater power. To the small states, it's like a death sentence. That is the argument in a nutshell. Nicely put, sir. Nicely put, indeed. Yes, big state, little state, Virginia, number two. Please, good sirs, the principle is clear. The majority should rule. There are more people living in the large states than in the small. Therefore, the small states should bend to simple justice. I'd expect a big state like Virginia to feel that. <laughs> well, let's continue. But there is a good point. He is talking about tyranny of the majority. It is true. Yes. Let us continue. Big state, little state, New Jersey. Number three. This idea isn't fair. The large states will have all the power. Virginia, with her 16 votes, will outvote <coughs> us. This will cause little states like Georgia to have, a, have to beg for help from some larger states in order to have any power at all. I see, and I see you brought your counselor with you. Very yeah, nicely done. Well, I hope we can resolve this issue. Let us continue. North Carolina, big state, little state, number four. We already know that those who have power in their hands will not give it up. If three quarters of the people in America live in the southern states, and the northern states try to hold on to their power, then one quarter will control the three quarters. Have you thought of that? An interesting aspect, Carolina. Nicely done. Exactly as I said, the tyranny of the majority. Uh, let us continue. Delaware, number five. A little louder. These old ears are what they used to be. in order to form a nation. We will never agree to your plan. Well, New <laughs> Jersey seems to be a bit ticked off. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Let's proceed nonetheless. Maryland. Yes, number seven. Let me say. 